Dave show. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Eastside Dave. Yeah. That's right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We have ah. our. What an audience. Oh. What an audience. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Guys. I got, I got oh, a fucking hobo in the corner Whoa. drinking old granddad. <laughs> I'm screaming at the guy, get in the fucking show, the red light's on. I don't think he speaks English. No, his buddy doesn't speak English. Well, what's your, uh, uh, your name, sir, in the blue uh, shirt there? Your name, sir? Uh, jo yeah. What's your name? Uh, Johnny. Johnny? He says, uh, his... Come say, uh, they na Yamo? Nam? Nam? So I'm going to say Nyama. Yum, yum, name. yum, yum. All right, all right, all right. Enough oh. of this nonsense. Jo John is your name? Hold on, give him the microphone back real quick. What, what do you want, brother? What John. Do you want? John, where? John, that's your name? Johnny. Just regular John. Okay. There's something very suspicious about John. I've, I've never met a, a man who speaks that little English who's called John. It's actually Jose. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Anyway, hey, welcome to the Eastside Dave Show. <laughs> Oh my God, it's fantastic, it's wonderful. Hi, how are you, Roy? What are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing so good. I'm not hearing my organ today. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, okay. Something, are you guys hearing it out Jesus there on TV? fucking Christ. God damn it, Garrett! Everyone's Garrett? running around. It's just, it's just the speaker over he there. He doesn't TV. like when I get mad. Go ahead. It's not like we're live or anything. You know, there it's not go. like we're fucking live. Now we're talking. Jesus, the good. fucking musical diva. I need it louder. Louder, louder. The God damn it. You're like fucking Mariah Carey over there with the keyboard. Can't hear myself. I know, but I'm trying to do a fucking monologue. We're not even doing the song yet. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. All right, we're back. I'm trying to do a show. Johnny, does this fucking happen in your neck of the woods, pal? Probably not. That's all right. Don't, don't give him the microphone. It, it, you two, you two have fun over there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. What a start to a shit show. This is why show. I don't do drugs before the show, David. See? Yeah, bullshit. Now you understand. I got one fucking guy, half in the bag, <laughs> white Oscar Gamble over there. He's gonna fucking topple down off those fucking bleachers. Somebody we should have sat him in the front row. Yeah. I think Compound Media, technically we're liable if the guy takes a header off that fucking third <laughs> row back there. And his buddy, they're not even sitting next to each other. White Oscar Gamble says, uh, meet my friend John. I go, hey John, uh, are you... Uh, uh, have you seen our show before? He goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Who the fuck doesn't speak English and comes into a goddamn English-speaking talk show? Not man. me, Dave. I don't care. You know what? We're all inclusive over here, pal. All right? Until the, the big fucking wall uh, gets built over your house. We're working on it, baby. You're going to be sent home uh, in about, uh, I don't know, next Friday. Watch out. You're going to get fucking uh, a bunch of men in black are going to yeah, like pick you up and throw you into a fucking van. That's right, And man. send you over to goddamn Tijuana. Yeah. And it's all over. Like all right, look. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's start with the fucking monologue and just get on with it. All right, I've been waiting. Yeah, I got a lot of shit to do tonight, all right? Okay, Dave. Darth Trump says Meryl Streep is an overrated actress. Did you see this, Roy? Did you see this? Not yet. Uh, Trump called Meryl Streep overrated. <laughs> oh, yeah? She went off about on him uh, on the Golden Gloves. And he took to Twitter. Oh, his I'm sure he wasn't happy you know, about like, that, like, like all presidents, you know, like uh, Nixon and uh, FDR and Abraham Lincoln, they always take to Twitter and they yell at people that you stink and you're overrated. Well, Trump went on to say uh, also on his overrated list, he said Wayne Gretzky is an overrated hockey player, Walt Disney is an overrated cartoonist, Jeffrey Dahmer is an overrated cannibal, and Jesus is an overrated deity. So Trump... <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, Clemson beat Alabama. Did you watch the college football championship last night? I have not, David. Did you watch that? Not yet. Did you watch it? Do you watch sports at all? Mm. And, uh, are you familiar with Alabama? The state. The state, not, I not, know. Yes. Okay, good. Clemson theme, so. beat Alabama to win the college football championship last night. In related sports news, Flutzi sucked five dicks over the weekend. Personal record. Oh, so, yeah. Oh. Come on in, Flute. Come on in. Anytime she, now. She come back. Anytime. It's only goddamn eight minutes into the show. Parisian police have arrested 17 suspects in connection with the Kim Kardashian jewel robbery. 16 of the suspects are French, and the last suspect is Kim's ass, because that thing should be illegal, yo. Hey! -o! There you go. You can hear it now, right? Well, it's up to you, Dave. All right, I can hear it. I'm fine. 
Um, by the way, I jerked off to a Channel 11 news reporter today. Thank oh, you very much. Nice. Which, which one? Did you say which one? Uh, you'll, you'll find out soon enough. Hollywood is racist. White people at the Golden Globes confuse two different films with predominantly African-American casts. They apparently thought the films, check this out, Hidden Figures uh -huh. and Fences are the same picture because they have a lot of black people in them. Uh, one of the girls, uh, the Bush girl, was working for NBC, kept calling it Hidden Fences, okay? Goddamn fucking bigots, all right? Mashing up these black people movies. It's disgusting. <laughs> Mashing them up. Makes my fucking skin crawl, these racists. By the way, I recently watched the Color Purple Rain, The Right Thing, sucker. Best Spike Wayne's movie ever. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like my favorite. Hey, bad. you ever notice that black people look all the same? You ever notice that, Roy? Roy Hart, you ever notice that the black... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just kidding, by the way. No, you but, are. Roy. You ever notice that all Chinese people look the same? Huh? They all look like, hi, I saw Lee. Uh, by the way, here's a picture of that news reporter I spanked it to. Look, look, there he is. Oh, yeah. Not what I expected, David. It's Arnold Diaz. Come on. That's hot. Latino. The Dave man loves me some porn mustache, daddy. <laughs> Hit my nose, Nick Roy. Heart attack kid. Go ahead. You too, dad. is keep an eye on the guy in the second row, John. Yeah, make sure he doesn't steal anything. He's got very shifty eyes. He has no idea what the fuck we're talking about over here. He's, you know, he's making me nervous. He's just sitting there. Um, he's, you know, he doesn't know what we're saying, so don't worry if, if you want to mock him. Sammy, go, go right ahead. Totally cool. And as for the guy behind you, Oscar Gamble, just make sure he doesn't throw up all over your head because he's been drinking old granddad. Yeah. I know. I wish I was joking about that. We had it perfectly. Just keep it like this. The keyboard sounds great. Holy fuck. Hearts gone astray. Keep it up when they go. Take a moment and re-examine 
what we're all fucking doing here. <laughs> Why the shit were you in and out and late and this and that? Late? Yes. I was late. here. You were not here. By the cut of the minute. No, there's A, there's no such phrase as by the cut, cut of the minute. minute. That's, That's never been said before in by humans. No. Well, Secondly, <laughs> you saying. weren't here by the cut of the minute. You <laughs> were eight minutes that. late. You got oh, high? I'm not high. Bullshit. I'm feeling sick, actually. I can see your fucking ping pong ball eyes, <laughs> and they're all red and fucking disheveled. I don't have ping pong yeah, we, ball We eyes. smoked a bunch. You smoked a bunch, Sammy? I did. All right. Now, he are did. you going to keep an eye on John, like I was asking you? Because John's that guy right there. John? I got him. All right. I'm glad you're here, John. We just don't want, you know, to be murdered by you tonight. Okay? Oh, Just, he, we want to be, oh, you know, Morta. Boy, Morta. Oh. That's John. Let's, let's, now, Flutzy. Yeah. Sorry. All right, don't worry about it. Stevie, get the microphone away from these people. <laughs> Stevie, I have a feeling like you might actually be best on the bleachers tonight. Yeah. You just stand by the bleachers, Stevie. <laughs> just sit, take a front row seat. Don't worry. You're, if I need to, I'll take care of business, Dave. Don't you worry over about there, it. there, in my opinion. I, I know you think that. That's great. No, I, I'm being serious. A, for the crowd work, and, and B, because I'm going to be going to these gentlemen, I, I have a feeling, for a while. All right, Dave, I'm going over. <laughs> He's on his way. Now, the other thing that happened last Tuesday <laughs> is that? that we uh, received um, marijuana candies. And um, thankfully, by the way, we received some tonight. Okay, so that's wonderful. Woo! Roy, did you eat yours? Not yet. No? No, not yet. Not at Why all. don't you have one tonight? <laughs> have have one. one right now. The show can't be any worse than how it started. Yeah, you might be right. right? <laughs> yeah, I am right. <laughs> all right. I'm me... fucking right. right well, um, grab my candy then. Yeah, grab your candy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you don't know where it is, sit down. I don't know where it is, Dave. Uh, Roy. Yes, David. Um, something uh. happened recently. Okay. And it actually is very controversial. It has to deal with a movie star. Uh, this man's name is Vincent D'Onofrio. Are you familiar with him, Roy? I think I actually know yeah, the guy you ever, you're talking uh, about. Vincent D'Onofrio? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, the guy from Full Metal Jacket. Victor. That's right! Yeah. Woo! Four points for Roy Heart Attack. The Joker, right? I'm very... The Joker? Or Francis, the guy who you, said, you, touch my you shit, scored, I'll kill you. You scored a basket. Why you keep dribbling? <laughs> you got it. Full Metal Jacket. Then you started to go into weird Batman villain talk. What was that all about? The Joker? No, he's not. never played the Joker. Oh, all right. Heath Ledger or Jack Nicholson. I thought it was or if you're joke. talking about the cartoon, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill did the voice there. Um, anyway, this guy, do we have this tweet? He's ripped off Flutzy's bit, uh, bit here. Ah. Oh. Uh, I guess he got into a fight with the comedian Sherrod, Sherrod Small, and uh, Sherrod said something that hurt his feelings. I don't know what the hell happened, but anyway, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, he tweets out, 11-year-old humor is not such an accomplishment. If you're going to brag, I'm going to call you out, Sherrod. Just saying. What a... No! How? How? No, Ouch. Sounds like Flutzy's bit. He is taking your bit, Flutzy. He ain't taking nothing. He is stealing from you. I know. He did. Okay. He's a, is Vincent D'Onofrio now in the Flutzy Crosshairs? Do you have any words that you'd like to say to Vincent D'Onofrio? Because like I'm to, offended I'd like by to this. meet you, and we could work on something. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not really much of an attack. I think he's married. You'd think she would come no, with an attack. No, why would I attack somebody? You'd think she would come with Unprovoked. insults and how dare you steal my bit. How dare you? But anticipating that Flutzy would drop the ball on this bit, I've got some few choice words for Vincent D'Onofrio. <laughs> Stevie's, wiping the, uh, Stand up, Stevie's wiping the sweat off of him because this is just one of those clusterfuck shows, isn't it? Oh, Let's I just think... try and make it to 8.30, everyone, and, and then we'll go home. Okay? I think we're doing great. What's going on here? All right, excellent. Um, don't make me mad, Dave. <laughs> Let's keep the show going. Right? Don't, uh, I don't want to fill you with rage. <laughs> right, yeah. You know what, you know what happens? Do you have a Roy Rage segment late, later? Yeah, you know what I was fucking mad as hell about? No, wait, not yet. Save it. Okay, oh, well, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> But don't make me wait too long because I got <laughs> fucking mad, Dave. Seriously, is everyone on meth tonight? <laughs> Just I am. Do, do I have to enact the very first ever East Side Dave fucking time? We all have to get here at 6.30, otherwise you're fucking not on the air. I hear that one. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. I don't like sitting over here. It reminds me of when Jared yeah, used to produce. There's no point in you keep getting up if I'm going to throw it to John and White Oscar Gamble for the rest of the show. Makes me, reminds me of when Jared Us used to puppy. produce and I was sitting over here all the time. You know, it's getting weird. You were... You are the man now, Stevie. <laughs> and by the way, how did this become Stevie? I'm trying to get into a Vincent D'Onofrio bit. 
The fuck? I'm hot. Hello, ADD people. ADD, I'm, no, no. If, did you people eat candies? Did you all, eat the fucking candies before the show? We all got really I'm, high I'm before so the show. Okay, okay, okay. No more smoking before the show. Uh, no, you're done. 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 Those huh. people inside can hiss. Uh, hiss. Look at this. Look at me. Look at me. No more. See, I'll, stri I'll strike the fucking venom. I will bite your ass True. so hard, Stevie. I know. And not in like a sexual way. No, Although like I that. probably not will like be that. turned on when I do it. Because <laughs> yeah. it'll get to that point. You know, I'll light some candles and put on some Marvin Gaye. Please. But I will bite your ass and I'll fill it with fucking venom. You understand me? Ew! <laughs> no more smoking then. No more smoking. Um, I'd just like to say the only thing... Uh, the uh, only thing to shut Vincent D'Onofrio up, apparently, is to put a bunch of bars of soap in a pillowcase and beat him with it. Just saying. <laughs> My favorite role of Vincent D'Onofrio's career was the bug in Men in Black. Remember that movie? He was the bug. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and that's because that dipshit barely fucking spoke. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, Floatsy, it's mine now, as Dice would no, say. No, not. Ironic that Mr. Law and Order, Vincent D'Onofrio, stole just saying from Flutzy. Hey, Vincent, you're guilty of being a thieving dick. Yeah. Just saying. What the fuck are you doing? Vincent D'Onofrio, by the way, has gotten so fat, he should change his name to Vincent D'Oreo. <laughs> just saying. <D> Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would like that. Roy loves snack humor. You know what I'm he loves cookie he loves humor. Snack. Roy's all about treat <laughs> jokes. Anything about Twinkies, cupcakes, fucking Oreos, Roy's all for. Uh, fucking weirdo over there. <laughs> I wish Vince D'Onofrio would recreate his role in Full Metal Jacket and blow his fucking head off. Me so Just saying. <laughs> oh my god. He's so horny, baby. Is you such a tough guy, yeah. Vincent? You're such a fucking tough guy. Come on here. Come on. The, we're, we're, we're inviting Vincent D'Onofrio onto the Eastside Dave show. Okay? And don't worry. What? Don't you fucking worry, Vincent. Now, I, I tend to do very unconventional interviews. I point a gun at my interviewee for the entire episode. What? Throw up the trigger, Dave. Is it better if I point it sideways? Like if, you know, like you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I don't want to be racist, but you see a lot of them on The Wire, the on way. HBO. Oh, yeah. Cosby Show. Greeks? You ever see that? Uh, yeah, that one, Do the Right Thing. Guineas. Hold it side. <laughs> Guineas. Oh. Um, so there's that, okay? So we've put Vincent D'Onofrio on blast. The other thing that's very alarming, <laughs> Very upsetting to me is that next Tuesday, apparently, we mentioned this last week, I'm mentioning it again, next Tuesday apparently is the 10 year anniversary, exact to the day of the debut of my arch nemesis, The Midnight Rider, a piece of shit that I don't like, that uh, I had to, uh, that, uh, that I, I willfully wrestled at the Hard Rock Cafe and beat his ass. Um, yeah. He has sent a video and he simply says uh, June, uh, January 17th, 2017. It's a musical video, the musical one. So watch this and um, enjoy. Oh Christ, it's gonna take over. Walks alone down the strasa, <laughs> where the mask is the lesser knocked wapa. Philosophy of the soul, great fighter. Open wide for the midnight rider. 
That's what the Midnight Rider does so well. He's gonna take your dreams, put them into his heart, and then put them back into your heart. My heart is yours for the asking, Rider. It's about electrified funk. It's about the new man in town. It's about the Midnight Rider busting at 365. I don't know how these other marshmallows perform, but I know one thing the Midnight Rider performs. With sweat, blood, and tears. Tell me more about the marshmallow. <laughs> it's time to hit the road, Jack. It's time to go on down the clock, Daddy. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's over for you. From the power of his heart and from his heart to the power. <laughs> Miss Welton Chong has no shot at Frida. He works for the world. Love is his employer. The Midnight Warrior. The Midnight Warrior! Because it's not funny if it's a bunny! And it's not Grail if it's a whale! The Midnight Warrior! Philosophy of the Soul Great Fighter! Open wide for the Midnight Warrior! <laughs> yeah! Hold on, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. If I wasn't high before, I sure I am now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Now, Sleeves, I huh? have, I'm very upset by that logo because the Midnight Rider apparently wants, thinks that he can somehow uh, get into the studio next Tuesday and take over uh, the show at some point. <laughs> That's not happening. No, we got Did muscle. you ask Keith the Cop for added security? Quite frankly, I would like some ad security for tonight so we can kick out White Oscar Gamble and John okay, because well, they're clearly a problem. He said he would let me maybe borrow his gun. All so. right. We need, I mean, I have a gun myself. I know. You have a gun, but I But I'd a like gun. a couple machine guns. Sure. I want this fucking place like Saving Private Ryan. Okay. I, wanna, uh, I want like three guys <laughs> manning a, a giant machine gun in front of the yeah. doorway and just... German guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they don't need to be German. They can be American. They can be any... Um, Denomination. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair I think, enough. I think Johnny thinks it's a real gun. That's what the problem is. Why, why is Stevie over there? This is why I put you over there. Because the fucking White Oscar Gamble is literally just shouting to his friend. Can you tell him the... Yeah, there you go, Stevie. Stevie, that's Sorry why that's that. your All right, spot. I'll stay, I'll stay here. Yeah. He's trying to stay there. He's or I'm going to shoot your, you in the fucking head. Uh, uh, <laughs> Holy cow. All of a sudden, I'm talking to Stevie. He's over on the couch again. Don't like it over here. <laughs> Well, that's your spot tonight. All right, we all, have the, uh, we all have roles in this I'll take, life. I'll take it. You understand? We all have things we have to do, Flutzy. You got it? Yeah, You're a little quiet tonight. Are you a little smoked up? <laughs> I am a little quiet tonight. Are no, you I high? Smoke. I'm actually I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold. Oh, yeah? So oh, if no. anyone is wants that, to is, is cold a code word for HIV? Because everyone oh, knows God, you I like to not. fuck like a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> What's that feedback? Oh, what's that? <laughs> that what's was that her noise? friend. Um... Oh my God! Don't so, wish that upon me. Are you? Are you? You just have a cold. You're okay. Yeah, a little sniffly. Roy and I I'm were talking. To to, be taken Roy care and of. I were doing one of our favorite things that we like to do before the show. We smoke cigarettes and badmouth you. <laughs> and <laughs> lately, we've been badmouthing you to total strangers on the streets of New York City. Here, we're just like, Why? can you believe this chick, Flutzy? And it'll just be like some guy pushing the cart. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Stay away from me. <laughs> and I'm like, she's a fucking weirded bitch. But I love you. You're not a bitch, like, in that way. You know, uh, Anthony what? was discussing um, your best uh, feature, your ass. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, what'd he say? He said he'd like to put his head in it and then, and then swivel on it. And uh, swivel? Swivel around. Yeah, he'd like to wear your ass like a hat. Oh, my God. <laughs> then, oh. He, then he said he'd like to pull out your pussy. Like pull it out of your vagina and put it where? And then hold it up like like uh, like <laughs> imposed like he was a, a Heisman Trophy winner. Oh my god! And we're holding your pussy here and going like this That's in case anyone was going to tackle. Actually, yeah. Well, he didn't say flattering. any of that shit. I just did. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. That he said he wanted to hold it up like brave. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> um. So anyway, lots of things are going on here, Roy. I know. Now this Midnight Rider is yeah. really he's um. I'm ticked off that he thinks he can come onto this show. No, not and allowed. I'm dead serious about the fact that he will not be on the show next Tuesday. 
mark my words, so don't be watching. Oh, I can't wait. It's, it's not going to happen, right, Steve? We are going to have security for this. Guy. I'd be almost willing to put my job on the line that he doesn't get into this studio. Oh, next I'm going to take you up on that, Steve. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I'm you wait up a on second. The, that was one of the stupidest bets of all time. Oh, no. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, dear. What did and I just by do? the way, just one last time for the record, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being accused uh, of somehow being the Midnight Rider. Clearly, uh, my face is not a wrestling luchador mask. No, and you never see me not. wearing a red cowboy hat, no, do you? No. Do you ever see me wearing a red cowboy hat? No. Five points for you. Thank you, David. Also, I don't have a southern accent. You know? Not you know I think we have in common occasionally we use the word daddy a lot. <laughs> we overuse that word. That's it. Not so much a southern accent as it is like a Dusty Rhodes accent. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I think he was from the south, wasn't he? <laughs> um, hey, by the way, uh, John, do you have that other video? I, I had a very beautiful uh, video with my son, uh, Stanley Mac. Oh, yeah, what do you guys um, do now? Listen to me and Stan. Uh, uh, make sure you're on our uh, show, iTunes, the East Side Dave and Son, son wrestling, wrestling Show. That's right. You can subscribe on iTunes. He's, he's my uh, co-host. Quite frankly, he's the greatest co-host I've ever had. Yeah. He puts Roy to shame. He puts Pepper to shame. Woo! Sam Roberts to shame. It's in his blood, right? This kid has it. He has it. Johnny, here we go. I am here now with my uh, guest. I uh, could pick my Stanley nose too, Dave. Mack. Stan, how are you? Good. And who is your um, favorite person in the world? Minnie Wider. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. You don't look too happy, Dave. I'm not. The Midnight Rider is your favorite person in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus oh. Christ, Dave. Now my son is turning against me. Okay, you see what you have fucking caused here, Roy? It's never too late to sell him to adoption. <sighs> He's seven. Sell him to adoption? Don't you give up a child? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that white slavery is illegal. All right, maybe you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't looked into it in a while. Hey, maybe you're right. Maybe you can't sell a kid. Not in Germany, it's not. Uh, so. blue. I know, well, all kinds of things go on in Germany. It's worth a lot more. I mean, white, do you too. remember what happened in the 30s and 40s in I Germany? Saw. I saw. Holy shit. Allegedly. Right. I mean, allegedly. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Uh, white Oscar Gamble. He's a, it seems like he's a Holocaust denier over there. <laughs> Whoa now, Dave. <laughs> Easy <laughs> there. All right. Or is it a hollow hoax? All right, all right. Wait, White Oscar Gamble is a Holocaust denier? Did I just hear him say, call it the hollow hoax? <laughs> it's a Holocaust. Okay, take the microphone away from him. That was a big mistake on my part. <laughs> um, uh, so anyway, Look oh, we have back. a oh. back again. Speaking of Holocaust, we have a caller. Hold on, focus, oh, focus, focus, focus. Shows up here. <laughs> Brian, shows up here. Vincent Enough. Uh, someone's calling. His name is Guy, and he's calling the Side Dave Show. Guy. I want, I'd like to go to him. Get on, Dave. Hi, Guy. You right there, Dave? Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Guy. What's up? Excellent. First of all, love you. Love the show. Wonderful. You are the greatest of all time. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I wanted to say that Flutie did a much better job than Vincent D'Onofrio on Twitter. Vincent, like a bit of a pussy, managed to bitch out and just block me. Flutie got very offended when you'd be bringing up the whole pussy shoving flute vagina thing that she got. Oh, that's on. you! Yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, All right. Because you have a very Flutie, thick... I'm totally honest, like, your response was really good. You came back to me in a really nice way, and I actually appreciate the fact you explained why you were offended by all that shit, and we managed to sort things out. Vincent I don't Mario, hate you. Who is a six foot four bodybuilder. All right, wait, hold on. Hold on, you fucking it. lunatic. You goddamn yeah, limey. Yeah, I know Hold on. About. Guy, I, I detect an English <laughs> accent. Yes, he is. Let me well, talk to him. I'm Guy. Cornish. You Scottish? Cornish. Cornish. All right, whatever it's the half hell. German. What is that? Half He's German. Like a chicken? Half German. Like a hen. Like a hen. Like a hen? <laughs> He's half German. Um, now, f from what I was able to ascertain through that rambling drunken diatribe that you called through clearly a Campbell's soup can. It was that Flutzy blocked you on Twitter? No. No, no, no. Vincent D'Onofrio did. Flutzy was a real man about it and got back to me and apologized. Good. See that? I like that. All right, Flutzy, give yourself two points. Oh, now we got to think of the audience. 
Thanks. All right, guy. <laughs> you know what? For this little and, exactly. and so Vincent D'Onofrio blocked you on Twitter for what reason? Uh, I put up a poster of him in the bug suit from Men in Black saying the face you make when she sticks the entire flute up her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so you tied flutesy into it. Of course. Somehow, and okay, I, like I it. get it now. All right, uh, so you know what, uh, Guy, I'd like you to change your Twitter profile <laughs> handle to the Eastside Dave Show champion for January 10th, okay? <laughs> Your profile can you 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 are allowed to uh, claim the championship tonight. Jolly good. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, well, it's, I'm going to hang up on you because it sounds like you're masturbating. I'm hearing oh breathing God. and some very odd Scottish sounds. So let's get rid of him. Yeah, he did and, say uh, jolly good. What? He, he said, said jolly good. That yeah. means he's about to blow the load. What? Yeah, what no. the hell? What the hell is Cornish? Uh, Cornish. He's half German, half French. It's Cornish. I've never heard of that phrase in my life. It's a nationality. It's cool? right on the border of Germany and France. Fact check. Fact check. John. We need a fact check. John, are you Cornish? He's a, he's a Frenchie. He's in Cornish. Georgia. 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 You're from Georgia. Down south. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on, John. Are you corny, baby? Hold on. Let me take it. Where are you from Georgia? Because quite frankly, I've seen some people from Georgia, and none of them have your type of accent. No, he's I'm Russian not trying Georgia. to say anything. He's Russian-Georgian. All right, don't worry about it. You see I, what happens I, when you go to the fucking... I'm uh, literally having an issue tonight where I'm talking to someone and there's 50 fucking people back there all speaking at the same time. These are my buddies. Has everyone forgotten how to do the East Side Dave show? Not me, Dave. Not me. Give yourself five points. <laughs> Thank you, David. Corn. You're on top of it tonight. I am. Cornish. It's uh, from Cornia. You're the one person I can trust. You know that? Oh, my God. You, Garrett. Uh, Dave. John. Yes. It, Cornish people have nothing to do with Germany or France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe in his Wikipedia. No, no, don't you dare call Garrett a liar. You're the fucking pathological liar. You dirtbag. You just made up a stat. I'm here giving you praise. You're letting me run with it like an asshole. Can I keep those five points, though? No. Minus 18 points. You owe me three points now. <laughs> Holy fuck. Everyone is so amped up. It's fucking insane. It's great. Except me for once. I know. You're just a lethargic slug over there. I know. <laughs> Your Vincent D'Onofrio thing, that's the time. Let me give you a little bit of showbiz, my friend. Okay. That's the time that you fucking go hardcore all over Vincent D'Onofrio. You call him a piece of shit. You try to start a Twitter war with him. He blocks you. We put the tweets up on the fucking show. Bam, boom. We got a little fucking celebrity flutesy heat right now. Great. Instead, he you me. said... Flutzy's trash talk was, I'd like to meet you one day, Poppy. Yeah, Poppy. That's what no. she said. I'd like to meet you. That's her trash talk. Well, I can do better. And she's doubling down. She's like, yeah, I nice. said it. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm nice. Not sometimes. during the show, though. Not when you're well, set I'm up for a feud. When you're show. set up for a feud or a rivalry, you run with it. All right, I'll it. run with it. Do me a favor. Next week, I'm going to Bring come right your back fucking you. brother back here because your brother. That fucking guy, yeah. he Takes came his in, shirt off. he took his shirt off, yeah. the guy was like a fucking, uh, the Incredible Hulk over there. He it? was ready, he was turning green and Hair ready down, to fucking... shirt off, dick At swinging, that's husband. it, yeah. All right, anyway, <laughs> I see um, the fucking rat is here. Yeah, today. right, 95.5.9 The Rat. 95.9 <laughs> The Rat is my radio station. Oh. I'm talking about... <laughs> Stevie liked that one, huh? <laughs> 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 nice show into the fucking bloodbath. For real. I hope it's it, 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 it play the fucking coconut song from Reservoir Dogs. Uh, and I'm gonna be like, which one of you is a fucking cop? Uh, huh? good. He's a good is kid. You? I always knew it was you, Mr. Orange. He's a good kid. I always knew it was you. Listen, Joe, I don't know what you think, Joe. <laughs> Garrett, is that the rat behind you? No. See if we can Looks get like it. See if we can get him on. I, I'm talking to him. He's got a microphone over there. Rat, what's up? What's up? Uh, why are you here tonight? You're just hanging out. I miss you. Oh. Come in. Come in. Sit next to Flutzy if you want. Maybe you'll add some levity, although I highly doubt it. <laughs> you'll just make the show more off the rails than it already is. But that's okay. As your lawyer, Dave, I highly look, suggest look you don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've been warned. 
You're stealing quotes out of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas now? Is that, is that what I said? <laughs> yeah, it's from there. Um, Chester from Seattle. Your uh, Seahawks ran all over the fucking Detroit Lions on Saturday. Now you've got a very big game moving forward, I believe. Uh, who, who, who are the Seahawks playing? I don't know. What? You want me to give you an answer, Dave? <laughs> yeah, I think Green Bay. You're right. Uh, no, Packers are playing the Cowboys. So, I don't fucking know. Anyway, Falcons. Chester. Falcons. <laughs> Falcons. Seahawks versus the Falcons. Go ahead, Chester. Yeah. Well, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to call in and uh, show my support to everybody. How's it going, uh, Stevie? How you doing? What's up, Chester? My man. Chester's a big super fan of ours. You sound it, Chester. Yeah, Old-time old listener. Really? Oh, wow. And, and, to, yeah. Going back to what year? Well... Uh, we didn't have Sirius XM, but the more dedicated fans took clips from, like, Rob and Fez and Opie and Anthony and put it up on YouTube. So that's what we kind of, how we discovered you was just from the play. Chester hasn't uh, mentioned that Chester and his father are both fans of this show. Is that right, Chester? Yes, that is true. Keep it no. the family. Very nice, Chester. Well, I'm going to applaud you and your illegal bootlegging pirates <laughs> in the great Northwest. <laughs> Enjoy that, and uh, I love you. You know what, Chester? Change your Twitter profile to January 10th, Eastside Dave Show champion. We can have two champions. We can have two champions once in a while. Okay. All right? All right. You gonna give me shit now for that, huh? Just saying, Dave. It can only be one. You, are you on Twitter, Chester? He's on yes, Twitter. I am. Uh, Stevie actually convinced me to get a Twitter. So. All right, Chester, change the Twitter profile to January 10th, Eastside Dave Show champion, okay? There we go. Can we end it now? All right, Got thank you. Thank you, Chester. No I got an idea. I'll follow right, Chester dude. for a week. <laughs> the only follower. I despise you for so many reasons. <laughs> but one of those reasons is that you're still not following me on Twitter. I hate that. I love it. I know you love it. Who's he following? Don't you understand that it could actually be beneficial to you? Of course, yeah. Don't but, you get but that you know I me? have 35,000 followers and you have 1,000? Have you ever met a bigger so, self? So people could see who you're following yeah. and then, you know, all that type of shit. Of I, put, I put pictures of, of, of you, you do. on my own Twitter from time to time. You do? Yeah, I never see them. Well, you don't follow me! You need to follow me to see what I'm fucking tweeting about! I'm gonna oh think about my it. God! Who does he follow, though? He follows one person. His name is fucking Stevie. <laughs> and that drives me even crazier. I know. Like, it uh, just angers me. <laughs> That's great. So much. <laughs> and this isn't a joke. I know it's, it's, not. Joke. it's no joke. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I will see. It's a new Rat, how are you? What are you doing? Periscoping. Oh, you're periscoping? You're periscoping a subscription service? <laughs> yes. Good for you. Uh, well, uh, keep the cop. Uh, make sure you sue... Uh, Fucking a rat over there, not me. Right? Or me. I told you not to even bring him in here, didn't I? Good Dave? point. You know what? Give yourself those 18 points you lost. Give yourself 19 points. You're back in the black. You're back in black now. Back in black. I hear the sad. All right, right. Um, Roy was actually telling me earlier uh, of a, uh, something was bothering you, right? That you were, you're, you're angry? Oh, yeah, shit, yeah, dude. You know what the fucking makes me mad, Dave? Uh, uh, is, this gonna, is this your segment here? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> 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 if you want it to be my segment, I'll make it my segment. But uh, I'll tell you what makes me mad. I'm thinking about the time when I was 12 years old. Just make sure it's loaded, Dave. Oh, I will. Think about the time I was Go 12 ahead, years tell old. tell your story. And uh, I, was at a, uh, you know, I was at a backstage uh basketball, baseball game, right? And Derek Jeter was there, and I asked him for listen an autograph. To me, listen to me, listen to me. <laughs> Slow down, you goddamn fucking pothead. I wrote that out for you. Yeah, you, you read you're, your handwriting. the fucking words on the your, paper. Your handwriting. Don't improv. It's not your I'm trying to suit. read your handwriting here. It's impossible to read. All right, ready? Here it comes. I asked Derek Jeter for an autograph, and he denied me. That fills me with rage, Dave. When That's you were how so, old? When did I this was, happen? I was 12. <laughs> And he denied you? He denied me. Uh, and, and so what is this? What, what, what is this now? Fills me with rage, Dave. It fills me with Roy Rage. <laughs> Ta -da. Hey, I got it. Ta -da. I got it. You know that Roy Rage is things that you're angry about. Yeah. You were cackling like a goddamn hyena. You make me throughout. laugh. You make me and laugh. And when you started screaming Roy Rage, it was nothing but guffawing and hee-hawing. 
<laughs> what the hell is going on over there? What's I happening see, in here tonight? I see I'm not the only one making up phrases. <laughs> oh, Brian, huh? uh, please be the one person who's quiet tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh, <damn>. Improv. <laughs> So yeah. so yeah so so anyway he uh, is this really did this really happen so, because I there's a lot of holes in the story oh go figure I'm telling it it's my story you're about fifty years old I'm under fifty yeah well my point is Just you're actually older than Derek Jeter <laughs> there's no way that you could have been twelve he <laughs> would have been about nine <laughs> okay let's just do the fucking math here. All right. Second, that's that's hole number one in your story. Okay, I'll give you that hole. Hole number two yeah. is try to find another hole. Okay, an hour and a half. Brian told me the exact same story, you fucking pathological liar. And on Brian, who's 17 years old, the math actually works. In fact, this entire story's bullshit. Brian asked Derek Jeter for an autograph when he was 12 and was denied. Is that right, Brian? Now you can get on the air. Is that true, Brian? You're gonna contradict me live on television? <laughs> Yes. All right, good, good. Short and sweet. I liked it. Brian was quote. Thank you, Brian. Brian, eight points for you. Roy, minus 30, because you're butchering your own segments tonight. I thought I hit it out of the park, man. You didn't. You swung and missed. And you fell over, and the helmet went flying. It was one of those embarrassing strikeouts that you're like, oh, my God, that kid's a spaz. You know, every, every, every team in Little League has that fucking spaz on their team. Ours in the Spring Lake... Uh, Seagirt League in New Jersey. Yeah. His name was Y.A. Am I allowed to say? I can say his whole name, right? Uh, Gary, where are I, going? I wouldn't say the last name. I can say because it's a subscription service. It's not the radio. What's his fucking kid's name? How about this name for a spaz, by the way? Yeah. His name was Y.A. MacArthur. Oh. Now, that's not okay. the, the funny part. The funny part is Y.A. Yeah. stood for, actually stood for Young Arthur. That was on his birth certificate. So in other words, the kid's name was Young Arthur MacArthur. <laughs> that was the fucking... Come on. I don't believe you, that Dave. That kid was born and bred to be a spaz. I'm he was born to suck at sports. And he was our fucking right fielder, yo. One time this kid... I was pitching. I was, I was called Dave the Save. Why? Because I, <laughs> I came in out of the ball. I played first base. But I could throw fucking hard, baby. Fastballs. All right? I knew you could. And I would come in there... Sixth inning, they only play six innings in Little League, so it's in other words, it's like the bottom of the ninth. I'd come in there, Marion Rivera style, enter Sandman, would play, bam, I'd go in there, I'd save the game. One time, I hit a guy, first batter, I hit the guy, I plunk him. Okay, Dave the save, he don't sweat, baby. He's made for this. All right, so there's a kid on first. Strike the next kid out. Strike the next kid out after that. All right, two outs, man first, five to four, right? That's the score. Uh, did, I, did I mention this is for the goddamn championship? The this is cooker. for the fucking Little League championship, all right? The Seagirt Spring Lake League. Throw the ball in. Kid gets a little fucking bloop, uh, uh, you know, blue pit to right field. And I'm sweating, I'm sweating bullets. Because I know young Arthur MacArthur's in there. And what does he do? He runs past the goddamn baseball. The guy on first scores. I'm watching, the game's tied, I'm watching in horror as the kid who hit the fucking ball is just rounding the bases all carefree. He was fucking taking his helmet, doing this, because even he knew young Arthur MacArthur was out there. Young Arthur MacArthur grabs the baseball and throws it 50 fucking times like this. The ball went six inches every fucking time. It took the kid like three hours to get it from right field back home to the catcher. Oh, my God. Kid who hit the ball scores. We lose the goddamn fucking championship. Oh. And as you can see, I'm not over it. Now, that's... I don't think it's illegal to say young Arthur MacArthur, but see well, if this is illegal. If I ever see you, YA, you're fucking dead! Oh. Don't fuck with the fuck master. <laughs> the fuck master? <laughs> Some people call me... The, the fuck master! Fuck master! Fuck master! He's, He's the, the one, one we fuck after! That's right! <laughs> I'm the one they fuck after, pal! <laughs> you got it? Just he has the porn videos to prove it! Yeah, some people say I'm like the ass master too, man! <laughs> ass master! Ass, ass master. master! He's, He's the, the one, one that we wipe after! <laughs>
But to be clear, why a MacArthur? We're threatening. No one laughed at Roy's. He's the one we wipe after thing. I oh, I didn't hear that. I feel like me and Roy are doing our show for each other tonight. <laughs> I'm only gonna look at you. Because the rest of the fucking audience, they're either high on drugs, totally liquored up. Go That's ahead, sick. Stevie. Stevie's actually slapping himself in the face. So just to be clear, <laughs> why a MacArthur? We are threatening guys, guys, your guys, life. Let's, hold on. Let's right? pull back the card okay, for a yeah. second. Oh. I'm all for partying. God damn, I released a song on YouTube thanks to Johnny Boy over there simply called Drugs. Right. The whole fucking song was about how much I like drugs and we as a show like drugs. Yeah. Maybe let's abstain from hitting the drugs until 8.30. It's not that long to wait. Do you know how good Molly is, though? This Molly Wait is till fucking... 8.30, Stevie, because you're sweating like you're taking some sort of lie detector test and you just raped three kids. Why do you think Rat hasn't said a word since he sat down on that <laughs> couch? He is so fucking hot. I don't like that. <laughs> Why did he wink at me? Because I'm on Molly. <laughs> what? Stevie's on Molly. Roy is a little high. I'm not on it. You are. Flutzy's high. Her friend Sammy's I'm high. high. The friend is now, Stevie's supposed to be doing crowd control, don't, and Stevie and the guy control. who he's sitting next are just laughing at the guy's phone. We found, we found Arthur, Arthur. I didn't find nothing. Oh, I can't show him on. I can't show his no. face. No, that's why I didn't. <laughs> All right. Sammy's high. Um, White Oscar Gamble. All right. Uh, how are you doing <laughs> the back there? Because you know, I might as well throw it to you since you know the whole show is off the rails tonight. You're a lawyer, Dave. How are you doing? I'm gonna have eyes against this. How how are you now? Are you are you from uh, Georgia as well? Like your friend? Like like no, your? No, no, I'm from uh, I'm from uh, Moscow. Oh. <laughs> you're from Moscow, and you're. Oh. That's what I tell everybody. You, you tell everyone, and I, I'm <laughs> sure they walk away from you really quickly no, no, when they, you're in New York telling people that you're from Moscow. Can scared. we get a close-up of his shirt, too? His shirt's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been painting. That's You've good. been painting? Well, you're a hard-working guy. Yeah. Okay. It, it looks like blood, to be honest okay. with you. Okay, all looks right. A little Let's like leave blood, Oscar but it's okay. alone. It does look like blood. I will say that. He's <laughs> probably killed a couple of people on his way over. Not nah. a big deal. We don't judge on this Not show, a big Oscar. deal. Not a big deal. All right. How's your friend John doing? Is there a reason why he came here tonight? Is he like a spy or someone who's going to murder everyone? What's that? He's a worker. He's Give a worker. him the mic. He's, he's, he's on vacation. He's on vacation. He's on vacation. He's on vacation from Georgia. All right, never mind. Never mind. That was a bad idea. Bad, big mistake. Dude. Sorry about that, Dave. Sorry. No, uh, apology accepted, Captain Nita. Um, associated with the, uh, the hacks. Yes. Associated with the hacks. Okay. Well, thank you. Sammy, Sammy your in. friend's making as much sense as you. I mean, I mean, Flutzy. See, now everyone's confused me. It finally got to that point where I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> now you're sweating, Dave. <laughs> well, it's very confusing in here. I know. Even I hear. Did it. you bring Thanks Sammy here tonight? Yeah. I'm happy that he's here. I love Sammy. I did. I'm gonna give him Sammy. a round of applause. Sammy's okay. You hit the reefer though before the show? No. I'm really serious. She's sick. Then she did. Now she's what? going. You've never smoked pot when you're high. Nah, I, I just don't feel not like really. it. I don't think oh my so. god! Oh my god! What do I, I look fucking like? do heroin if someone gives it to me when I'm sick? I don't give a fuck. You do heroin? Yes, I do heroin. You're gonna judge me for that? Fucking yeah, uh, that's right. Deepdiscount.com that continues to be a huge supporter of our show. A great site to find music, movies, TV series, and so much more at incredibly low prices. Woo! It's true, Roy. Did you know that? I did not know that, Dave. Before we settle into 2017, let's join DeepDiscount.com and take a moment to remember some of the great actors we lost in 2016. During their in-memoriam sale, Gene Wilder, Alan Rickman, young Anton from Star Trek Trilogy, and of course, Florence Henderson from The Brady Bunch. Yes, Mrs. Brady is gone. Together now with Mike and Alice, yet forever available on DVD. Remember at deepdiscount.com you won't find you won't find just classics, but great selections and prices on new movie releases too. All three of you are clapping at separate times. There's not one person clapping and using. No, it's okay. No clapping. I'm good.
Deepwater Horizon starring Mark Wahlberg and based on the true story of this offshore oil rig disaster, go to deepdiscount.com. Find what you want, buy it, own it, deepdiscount.com. Thanks, Deep Discount. You all right, Dave? You look a little sad. We had it. It was yeah, White Astrid Gamble. Stuff, White Astrid Gamble was the one who had the problem. I just don't, I, I feel like everyone's forgotten how a show works. You see, generally, there's a host. He goes to people for, you know, fun little quips and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Flitzy, Mr. how Champion. are How are you, Flitz? Oh, thank you for calling me Mr. Champion. Uh, what's the next Come on part? up and do your fucking flute song, please. <laughs> Flutesy, everyone. This is going to be horrible, by the way. <laughs> Come on, Flutzy. It's gonna tie right in. You want this one? Uh, probably not. Go ahead. So, Dave. Yes. I feel talk your, to me. I feel Now's your pain. the time. Talk. I feel your pain, Dave. Oh yeah? What's my pain? The fact that I'm doing a show with a nitwit such as yourself is that my pain? <laughs> well, <laughs> no. Does anyone know what she's doing? I need and a piece why? Of paper. <laughs> Thank you. you know, we're actually live on the air tonight. You guys, is I know, it almost seems aware? like we're not, right? It almost uh, seems well, like Well, actually, like... it seems like we are to me <laughs> because I'm the host of the show whose name is on the show and you're sabotaging Mr. Eastside it. Dave, guys, everyone. Oh, well, I like that. Give it up. Thank you. We need a reset. You know, sometimes right. we need a reset. Good. You're absolutely right. So reset. Gonna... Give us a nice flute song. We're going to reset. Go ahead. I love it. I want to hear your flute song. And if anyone can guess, feel free to call in. What the heck? Why if not? If anyone guesses this. <laughs> is this a song? Or are you warming up? Go. Here it is. Is this the song? All right, I didn't know if you were doing that or warming up. Go ahead. Okay. Let me guess, uh, is this the Flutesies making up a song <laughs> as we speak song? No. How about this? This is the theme to Flutesies Bad Segment. Is that the name of it? No, it's actually <laughs> a theme to a movie okay. that existed by, and John Williams is the uh, composer. Play it again. Actually. I didn't know John Williams was the composer. Well, now you've piqued my interest. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's hear. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to feel it. Okay, I'm starting to feel it. Um, we have someone well, it's actually been too popular of a movie. Not a too popular movie. But, Can you give us a decade? Uh, I don't know. what is the decade? I guess the nineties, seventies, thousands. Two thousand. You know it. It's a clarinet solo. I, I, here's a, we're gonna do some homework tonight. You're asking me. We're for all decades. gonna go home and watch the show tonight, okay. and, and this will be a good educational thing of how not to put on a broadcast. Literally, ask the girl what decade is it? Yeah, I don't know 70s, the decades. Seventies, nineties, and two thousands. <laughs> three separate people with three separate fucking decades. I can't get any help so it's tonight. Between the seventies and the present. And the two thousands. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's a good nice thirty-year <laughs> time yeah, span. Thirty-year time span, and you have. All of that leeway to figure it out. Go ahead, keep talking. Right, and John Williams was the composer, and mm -hmm. it and it was a clarinet. Go to line actually. two, please. <laughs> line two. Who's this? I want this person to know it. Hello, this is young Arthur MacArthur. <laughs> no, no. young you Arthur. Son of a bitch! I heard you talking shit about me. <laughs> no, you that bass hit, you bastard! You put me in that situation. Let me tell you something, young Arthur. If you had simply fielded the fucking baseball on one hop, not only would the guy on first not have scored. But certainly, the guy who hit the ball wouldn't have scored, and we would have been 1990 fucking Little League champions, you piece of shit. This is all your fault. I didn't have a father to teach me how to play baseball, you son of a bitch. Your father, you just like you, head. was outside sucking dick. Oh. I know it to be true. Oh I'm sorry God. to expose your family secrets. But you and your fucking father and that violin player faggot of yours, oh, that Jesus brother, Christ. both no. three of you, get into some fucking human centipede fuck train and leave me the fuck alone. Oh, I should be wearing a goddamn championship ring on this finger, and you fucked it up, YA. Oh, stop. You bastard. 
Get him off the line! He don't deserve a guess! He don't deserve one, Garrett! I don't think he had one, Dave. Of course he didn't! Dropping the ball like he did in 1990! <laughs> 27 fucking years ago, I should have what a fucking that? trophy. First place. You said, and most I was security. league MVP that year. Why? I led the fucking entire Spring Lake Seagirt with seven fucking dingers. What's that, yo? Ooh, dinger. Yes. Seven. Seven. You hit seven home runs in Little League? I've had a couple. You sucked a couple dicks. Oh. Well, yeah, that's also true, but in <laughs> <Okay>. my life. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look. You ever molested though? In a like oh, a Jesus Have Christ I ever Almighty. molested or been molested? Fuck no, don't even answer. That. Have you ever molested a child? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not around them enough. All right, that's yeah. That's a you good don't thing, have, actually. Don't answer. No. That was alleged about I'm just not around them enough. A YA's father, right? That was all alleged. We we mean all that stuff you said, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Good, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Alleged, right? All that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, alleged. that was just wanna Yeah, that was that was made up. Making sure we're clear. <laughs> Um, play the song again. I'm interested, and I'm because you have pinpointed uh, the year um, from 1970 <laughs> to the year 2000. Uh, okay, so now I know the exact spectrum. So basically, the second half of the 21st century, this song could be from. Okay, dude, dude, dude. I'll say hook, hook. John Williams did the song to hook. No, although I could see why you say that. No. I'd love it. It if... wasn't a very famous movie. Wasn't but people a famous do movie. know of it. Uh, Stevie, do you know the movie? Yes, and I will All tell right, you. Look that it up. The, well, the year is not in the time frame that you gave All right. either. So <laughs> of course not. Of course not. <laughs> it's from 2004. 2004. Yes. That's a 2000. It was a. Well, Hello! You said 2000. 2004 is after. 70 but anyway, to the 2000. It's a Tom Hanks movie from 2004. Tom Hanks. That was pretty bad, and not many people really enjoyed it. I don't know how they got John Williams to be. I know it. Roy, fact right, check this. Good. I that, know it. Correct? I know it. All right. We got some uh, useful hints there. I know the movie. I do. Ed from Florida. You're on the East Side Dave show. You're going to rock and roll hey, tonight, Eddie boy. Nobody. What's up, bro? Hey, uh, is it Victor's Tale? <gasps> is it? Yes, and what's the movie? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God! But he knows the you name of the, the song. You guess the name of the song. Even the fucking callers are off the rails tonight. That's so the, crazy. Even the though, callers are on drugs. That's harder to guess than the movie. I know I that's think. way harder. You guess the name of the track. But he knows it. Oh my God. Well, what's Victor's so tale impressed. from? I feel like he's a champion. The Terminal is the Thank movie. You. The Terminal. Yeah. Woo! Ed, you're the third person oh and God. the last person tonight. Feel? That are you on Twitter? Guess. Awesome, awesome. Hey, hey, by the way, I, I love the uh, Star Wars Spectacular, and, and I'm wondering yes. when you're going to do a Goodfellas version. <gasps> I don't know if Goodfellas. I'm thinking of a new movie. I actually do have one in mind, um, but I do not want to make any kind of release date. I'm looking perhaps Ooh. far down the road, not uh, at any time uh, right now, far down the road, okay? I see. By, All right. by the way, was your contract renewed, Dave? Uh, I'm waiting for the announcement. Great That's question. none Great of your question. business. Aww. Roy, do you want to handle this? Bad question. Roy, do you want to handle this? come up? Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Well. Go ahead. All right, Flutie, Flutie everyone. I'm very impressed, Ed, by the way. Ed, change Thank your uh, Twitter you. profile to really January 10th. Flutie. All right. Bye, Cha Ed. Change your Twitter profile, Eastside Dave Show Champion, January 10th. Roy? All right, you ready, Dave? Do you want to answer this question? He's asking about the contract, the infamous contract that everyone's asking me about. The contract has been renewed, David. Oh! Yes! 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 Get the fuck out of here. The bad news is that I'm the only one who's getting a pay raise. Yes! Yes! What? The fuck? Yes. 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 Um, yes, we um we held out for more money. Um but no one's getting any money. <laughs> <laughs> we buckled. But we did sign the papers tonight. That means season two of the Eastside Dave show, which quite frankly, I'm surprised that we even made it through season one. <laughs> I am actually shocked. 
that we were able to do this. I mean, exhibit A tonight. I mean, the fact that, you know, you, people can simply watch tonight's show and say, how the fuck would they get a whole nother year? But we did. That's, of course, uh, um, one of the things that stood out is that uh, our show can be terminated for any reason at any time. That's true. So I'm anticipating sometime in the next three months to be terminated. But you know what? We're here, baby! <laughs> Compound Media, where the media is compounded. Compound Media. Roy Hanna, he takes the drugs. He side Dave show off the rails. Roy, do you want to do a song now, please? I've been waiting all night to do a song, Dave. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, you don't have to tweet at Keith the Cop or Anthony anymore. If anything, tweet at them. Uh, thank you for renewing the Side Dave show. We're very excited for that. And um, our very first show under the new contract. No, the uh, they might be giants. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry, the um, first show on the new contract will be next Tuesday. And that's why it's extremely important, once again, Stevie, to make sure the Midnight Rider is not on the show. I do not want to start the first show of the contract with that fucking asshole. You understand, Steve? I understand loud and okay. clear, Dave. All right, Roy. You ready, baby? Just give me a tempo. Okay. There's a house at the top of a tree. Go ahead. Yeah, play that. Is that? I'll come in. There's a house at the top of a tree. Oh, there's a house at the top of a tree. In the house, there's a room. In the room, there's a chair. And sitting in the chair is you. There's a nose at the end of a snout. Of a dog with his hair at the window. Of a car that's driving away from the tree And at the top of a tree there's a house And in the house there's a room And in the room there's a chair And in the chair is you There's a plan to eat the house In the mind of a mouse in the woods And the mouse in the woods has a smell That's detected by the nose of the end Of a snout of a dog And this dog has his head out the window of a car And the car is driving away from the tree At the top of a tree there's a house And in the house there's a room And in the room there's a chair And in the chair is you There are no more potato chips left in the empty bag in your head. And the crumpling sound of the empty bag makes the mice get mad. And when the mice get mad, it leads to a plan to eat the house. And the plan's in the mind of the mouse in the woods. And the mouse in the woods has the tail detected by the end of a dog. And the dog has his window at the window of a car. And the car is driving away from the tree. And at the top of a tree, there's a house. And in the house, there's a room. And in the room, there's a chair. And in the chair, there is you. Ooh. And the reason there are no more chips in the empty bag in your hand is that the crumbling sound of the empty bag makes the mice get mad, which leads to a plan to eat the house. But just in time, the dog arrives to give it to the mouse the potato chips that you took from the bag and gave to the dog to deliver to the mouse. So the mouse would not eat you. Wow. It was like a Broadway show tune. <laughs> so many chords. We did it, baby. We did, didn't we? We did it. Yeah, we did it. Oh, my God. Um, it's been uh, uh, on the uh, sports world uh, headlines that Chris Berman is retiring from ESPN. Oh, I remember that. Uh, that's the way the mainstream media would report it. The way that here at Compound Media, we know for a fact that Eastside Dave drove that fat fucking asshole out the door in ESPN. Drive him away. I want you Drive to look away. at this picture, and I want you to remember a situation that occurred, and that situation 
That picture? The picture went to blackness and for a second. I thought, oh, there it is. There we are. That's me, and that's Chris Berman. And, and that's 2012, right after the Giants defeated Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots for the second time, yeah. getting Tom Coughlin his second Super Bowl and the franchise their fourth overall Super Bowl. All right. In that picture, I had a cell phone. I decided to drunkenly run up to Chris Berman, grab him by the neck like he's Big A, yeah. and fucking take a <laughs> selfie with him, okay? Yeah. At which point, the very rude Chris Berman, if you ask me, said the following exact quote. Get your fucking hands off me. <laughs> he told me to get my fucking hands off him. Ouch. Quote, unquote. So what'd you do? I found that to be rude. And I said to I said right then and there, if I get a chance, I will make sure Chris Berman is gone from ESPN. Measly five years later, who's laughing now, baby? <laughs> who's laughing now? We are Dave. <laughs> who's laughing now? <laughs> who's fucking laughing now? Who's laughing now? Are you laughing at me? Who's laughing now? He's laughing. We're all laughing. Who the fuck is laughing now? Who the fuck is laughing now? Who's laughing now? Who's laughing at me? Who's laughing now? You're laughing at me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna murder you. No one laughs at me and lives to talk about it. No one laughs at me and lives to talk about it. No one laughs at me and lives to talk about it. Yeah. So I was, you know, in this bathroom, you know, oh. doing my thing with this girl, you know. Yeah. When all of a sudden, this little blue man oh. in his little blue hat, yeah. he comes and pushes me around, yeah. yeah. So I push him back, yeah. yeah. Five and one, maybe one and five. No one here gets out alive. No, you get yours, baby. I get mine. Gonna make it, baby, in all prime. Come on! The old get older, the young get stronger. May take a week and it may take longer. They got the guns, but we got the numbers. Gonna win, yeah, we'll take it over. Now we're back, baby. Five in one, baby. One in five. No one here gets out alive. You know yours, baby. I'm in my head. Gonna win, yeah, we're in all pride. Yeah! Ah! yeah! Woo! How are we gonna end this? Have a tequila. Have a tequila. Have a tequila. Have a tequila. This one's for you, Red. Burn the Jew, burn the box, burn the Jew, I say, I, I say, you, baby, you so I will
was in the back of the strudel place with this little fur loin when this big jaw tried to push into me around in so I put him in the gas chamber in yeah I said goodbye Joe Ones, yeah, one in five ins. He like always on the mic ins. He like the Joe and the Jugo Bird ins. Jew down in the flame ins, yeah. Jew in the Flamins, <laughs> Baby Hitlins. Oh, that's so. There's a lot of magic ridiculous. in that one. It's insensitive. I don't appreciate it, Roy. I don't either. You know, I don't like to get political, you know, on this show. That's just not no, my bag. Not your scene. Okay. Right? I, I mean, except for one uh, segment that I get on a soapbox and I sort of, you know, I, I like to, well, sometimes I like to stretch my wings. Everyone else on Compound Media stretches their wings. Why can't I stretch my wings once in a while? Stretch them, Dave. Stretch you know? them wide. I call this next. This next, I call this next. <laughs> uh, I call this next segment Dave's Two Cents. Oh. Nice, Dave. Woo. Can I get political with you too, Dave? I wish celebrities would just shut up with their political beliefs, man. Shut up. I think I speak for America when I say they should just stick to making movies, being quiet and getting stalked by non-celebrities who wish to wear their skin, okay? Yeah. And if anyone is curious, I'll be wearing my new George Michael's dead flesh jacket later. That's my nice. two cents. Yeah. Give me some dramatic music, dog. PETA needs to get a life, man, okay? Just because I glued a toy Star Wars helmet to my pet fish and named him Carp Vader doesn't mean I'm cruel to animals. It just means I don't give a fuck about them. Two cents. <laughs> Ivanka Trump has the nicest tits, man. Two cents. <laughs> Health insurance, right? Everyone talks about that, right? Obamacare. Yeah, whatever it's called. Big issue these days, you know? I, it's like, I don't like any socialist health care, man. The only socialist programs I appreciate is Nazism and the Affordable Dick Ward Act. <laughs> Two cents. I recently heard a story about a mother who killed her baby. That's like bullshit, man. You know? It's illegal. I wish the baby killed the mom. <laughs> Two cents. <laughs> Woo! I came up with an idea for a movie, okay? It's called Weekend at Bernie Sanders. It'll be about some dead politician from Vermont who no one gives a fuck anymore. Two cents! These scientists would have you believe that climate change is real. You know? yeah. <laughs> Global warming, you know? Like dinosaurs. Screw that, man! <laughs> the only place getting warmer is Flutzy's hot ass. Two cents! Thanks, Dave. Gun control is lame, man. <laughs> Stupid! All right? First, they take away our guns, then they take away our swords, then our pets, and then our faces. And then we're just walking around with no faces and no ability to shoot other faceless people. Two cents! That's Dave's two cents. Fuck off, America. Sorry for getting political. That's all right, Dave. I can take I it every once in a while. I don't mean to get political. I'm, that's, 
you know, I just figure it works for everyone else yeah. here, and, and I feel, you know, I'm, I know I'm late to the party, you know? I know I'm late to the party, all right? <laughs> You're always late. Why'd you steal Brian's Derek Jeter story? Well, you told me to, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yes, Fluxy, go ahead. You've rebounded well. Give yourself four points. Thanks. Woo! I like how you said listen, listen. rather than just shouting some I'm crazy Puerto Rican just, soliloquy you know, into like, the microphone. Go ahead. Just, uh, what's up? So, in 2009, right? Yeah. Barack Obama won a Nobel Peace Prize. But in 2016, he dropped 26,171 bombs in seven countries. Just saying. <laughs> And also, Donald that? Trump yeah. is going to get us out of here. Yeah, we're just in this one episode. I'm just saying. What the fuck was she talking about? Can anyone enlighten me? I think that her joke about Obama's bombs bombed itself. Oh. So that's what happened. Oh, oh is this a just saying segment? She tried to, like, quote in. This is an awkward <laughs> yes. transition. That's what happened. Awkward transition. I didn't know you were doing your segment. No I didn't one, know I you wasn't. No one did. No one fucking did. I was just being political, Dave. Oh, Cheers. you're political? Are you for, um, were you for Obama or against him? I think the audience wants to know. I think I want 50% of the audience um, hating you. Don't. Nah. Just. You're not neither. for? Neither. <laughs> Just saying nothing. Just saying. Yeah. I'm not into it. Everything that's going on these days is just, it's way too much to get into. So I'm just. <laughs> that's how you know when Flutzy's sick. I'm she's never. literally giving up on whatever it is she's trying to say. Yeah. Like, what, whatever it is that's going on in these countries. <laughs> I don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> Papi, you have any robot asset? <laughs> Papi! Huh? <laughs> Give me a fresca and robot asset! <laughs> and a taquito, Papi, por favor! You wanna have a candy with me tonight? All right. Really? Yo, but like, how strong is it? Come over to my house in New Jersey. To your house? Oh. Yes. That's way too far to go have candy. We're gonna be up for like six, seven hours. We'll watch yeah. fucking oh, Star fuck. Wars, High as Kites. Sounds like a good recipe. Yeah. You'll be watching I do Star have Wars. to. What if warn you start you? bawling? Uh, this is my point. Crying. This is my point. <laughs> I have, when I eat edible marijuana, yes. no shit, I jerk off at least seven times. So I'm gonna watch you jerk off seven times? You could either have intercourse <laughs> with me, which I think is a totally legitimate and, and nice do invitation for love. Do you have cages in your, in your apartment, I, in your what? house, in your basement? I don't know what to call it. <laughs> My parents' basement. Go ahead. <laughs> like your apartment, your house, your basement. <laughs> I call it the Dave Pad. You know, the Dave it's, it's, the Dave it's, it's great pad. when you're a 39 year old man who calls his parents' basement the Dave Pat. That's all right. Well, nice... that's the way I try and pretend that my life isn't as horrific as it actually is. It's a, a lovely basement, though. There? It Come is on. a very lovely you basement. Admit, it's finished. Oh, my God. It's not like it's But here's the thing those pull out couch beds yeah. with me and Flutzy. Murphy we'll pitch. break that thing in fucking eight seconds. Damn yeah, right, you will. That fucking ass, her riding up on down <laughs> on the Dave ass, Cock. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. She'll practically she A she'll break the Dave cock and B she'll break the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you refer to your dick. It's the Dave cock. Well, it's I'm sort Dave of like cock. Batman that way. I tell you know everything is the Dave dot dot dot. Mm. Okay? Um so that's a no. Pro I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Friday? I Friday? This Friday. This Friday. Yes. You want me to go to your house and watch I know you, you have a cold. Times. Did you lose your fucking hearing over there? Yeah. A little Jesus. Bit. Beethoven over there. Go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when she sings the song, though. Yeah. Um, Friday's a no-go for you? Yeah. Anytime so in 2017. Anytime I mean, at all. Usually the day's ending in why I'm busy, so I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I'm shit out of luck. What about they Sunday? All, they all end in Y. Sunday ends in Y, too. You sure about I that? I just did the fucking math in my Tomorrow. head. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow doesn't end in Y. Tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, fuck that. Huh? Good yeah. one, Stevie. Yeah. Give yourself negative 20,000 oh, points. First of all, minus 8 million points forever <laughs> trying to distribute points on my goddamn you show. Talk. You know what, Dave? You're right. Next week, I'm going to come back, and you're going to get it. All right. Just um, say it. <laughs> Mike Francesa, uh, he's also retiring him and Chris Berman. I pushed Mike Francesa out the door. I pushed Chris Woo! Berman out the door. Yeah. I want that to go Retire. on the record. Okay, my two enemies after the Midnight Rider were Mike Francesa and Chris Berman. And now who's here? 2017, I have a microphone in front of me, and those two obese assholes don't. Okay? 
Who's the winner now, Roy? You are the winner, Dave. Eight points for you. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 Mike Francesa was talking about Odell. Oh, wait. Before, John, do you have that clip? Before John plays the clip. Yeah. I do have to say something about Mike Francesa. Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, and a few of the Giants receivers. I'm a big Giants fan. No, I know you are. Difficult loss on Sunday. The world goes on. Can't win them all. I'm, I'm still in mourning. I hate losing in the playoffs. It's, it's all right. And it's uh, I'm very more upset. Next year. And I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm thinking of shooting you in the fucking face. Go okay? for it. So, yeah. okay. so anyway, um, someone. So on, on Monday, the Giants receivers, last Monday, they uh, garnered some attention, some negative press I heard about when this. Um, they went on a boat in Miami. Again, football players and all pro athletes on their day off, yeah. they don't just sit in a fucking cocoon of course not. And, and wait till the whistle or the umpire says play ball and they fucking emerge like a superhero no. and uh, you know put on their sports outfit and boom, start playing, okay? Mm -hmm. They actually lead lives. LeBron James goes everywhere in his days off. He goes to football. He's all over the place. Yeah. Odell Beckham Jr. and a few guys went to a fucking boat, okay? Yeah, make a wish foundation, right? No, it had oh, no. nothing to do with cancer. <laughs> Why you would even say that is beyond me. They know. were on a boat oh. in Miami. All right. <laughs> all right, just let me do the fucking storytelling. Okay, go for it. I'm with you, Dave. All right, so they're on a boat in Miami, lots of cocaine. What's, what's going to happen next? <laughs> there were no drugs. Oh. There was nothing. Away. I don't know if I like just the story, Just a bunch Dave. of guys. On a fucking boat, hanging out. There was Adderall. Pure and boat. simple. There was nothing. No, Will you let me finish the goddamn fucking story here? All right, Dave, go for it. A caller calls in. Yeah. Mike Francesa yesterday, and he goes, uh, he says, uh, hey, Mike, uh, Vinny from Queens. Hey, um, here's the thing about Odell Beckham on that boat is I bet you he couldn't even swim anyway. Oh. You know, like his people. No. Oh. Happened? Swear to God, this happened. A, B, I was in the car. Otherwise, I swear I would have pulled the audio. But this fucking happened. A caller doing the old stereotype of African Americans don't swim well. The guy says Odell Beckham. He was surprised to see him on a boat because he thought he would fall in the ocean and fucking drown. Okay, Francesa. Yeah, what was his has reaction? No reaction at all. And in fact, he goes. Well, I don't know, Vinny. Maybe he's not a good swimmer. Like, he, he's, he was unfamiliar with this awful stereotype. This stereotype's been around forever. Yeah. And Mike Francis is like, uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't know if Odell Beckham Jr. is a good swimmer or not. I can't, I can't vouch for Odell Beckham Jr. and if he's a good swimmer or not. I can't. I'm like, Mike, you're giving this retarded phone call way too much attention. The guy is just trying to do a little racist joke and get off the phone. Yeah, Odell Beckham Jr., he could be a good swimmer. You know, is, now, is Odell Beckham Jr. as good as Michael Phelps's? I, I would doubt that. Michael Phelps is one of the Olympic heroes of all time. Now, 2016 Michael Phelps is not 2008 Michael Phelps, okay? Now, 2008 Michael Phelps, not as good as 2004 Michael Phelps. Having said that, 2004 Michael Phelps, not as proficient as 2012 Michael Phelps. You see, 2012 Michael Phelps was quite proficient. Not as proficient as 2004 Michael Phelps, but who was better than 2008 Michael Phelps, inferior 2016 Michael Phelps. I'm Mike Frenzgeese, go fuck yourself, America. <laughs> um, John, do we have that clip? <laughs> Francesa, I love this. I has Third. got to grow up. It's him talking about Beckham. His behavior after... No, you know, you know what the problem is? The problem is guys like you, who just no matter what he does, have got an excuse for him. No matter what he does, oh, Odell, I love you, I love you, I love you, no matter what he does. Dead air. And there's members of the media the same way with that with him. Dead air. And his guys in the giant front office the same way. He can do no wrong. No matter what he does, he puts holes in the wall, he's not wrong. He does this, he's not wrong. He does that, he's not wrong. He does this on the sidelines, he's not wrong. We get he it. runs around like a fool before the game, he's not wrong. He's never wrong. That's me describing you before it show. He dropped nine <laughs> balls this year, he's not wrong. You know what? Nine <laughs> balls doesn't put you at the top of the league. He shouldn't even have been second team all pro. Oh, come on. Hello? Someone wake Mike up. Is that it? 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell. Oh, princess of it. Oh, man. I love. I, I, oh, you love Odell Beckham Jr. I love Odell Beckham Jr. Everyone I love Odell Beckham Jr. I love Odell Beckham Jr. Everyone I talk to says, I'd like to suck Odell Beckham Jr.'s big black cock. And then I go to Yogi's and I put BBC <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. I put BBC OBJ for big black cock Odell Beckham Jr. And then what I do is I look up two blacks and a blonde. And it's sort of like a black person gangbang where you have two large African Americans. <laughs> <laughs> penetrating a very small, miniature blonde person, preferably 100 pounds, five feet tall. And then they spray their black cum all over her face and pussy, and it's all over the place, and then next thing you know. And here's the thing about Odell Beckham Jr. is where he participates in some of these videos, and it looks bad for the organization, okay? Unlike Franz Gies Gies, go fuck yourself, America. <laughs> That was a weird rant by Francesa. Um, the dead air never fails to make me chuckle. It's great. Because when I'm driving around and I'm listening to it on the radio, I constantly am hitting my radio thinking that like somehow WFAN went off the air. Or the, or the radio's not working. And then I realized, <laughs> nope, I forgot. I'm listening to Mike Francesa, the king of dead air. He, I've never heard anyone on the radio who lets more time pass. You know? Yeah, you got a point. The only guy, and he does, I take a risk here, the only guy who does it, does it well, is Ronnie B. Sometimes he'll let the show breathe. What, what, but he does what, it. what sense would that make when I'm destroying Mike Francesa to bring the great Ron Just Banks' point, name into Point, it? counterpoint, it's, that's it's, all. It's, it's, it's counterproductive. It's not a counterpoint. It, it's, I don't want his name in the same conversation with Mike Francesa. Oh, you, you see what I'm saying, though? When I'm taking shots at Mike Francesa, and then we say, hey, I'm Ron is just like Mike. Is, is, is that, does that sound good? No, it doesn't sound yeah, good. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Stevie, you lost tonight. I'm sitting you over lost here with the these guys, tonight. with my buddies, you know? John, how are you? How are you? Give John the microphone for a second. John, you came all the way here from Atlanta, and I'm to believe. You're, uh, you root for the Georgia Bulldogs. Is that true? Johnny? John, do you? John, are you are you okay over there? John, who bribed you to be here tonight? Who's pay Who's paying you? Who's pay Why are you here? Why are you here, John? Why Why are you here? I must get to the bottom of this mystery. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, Steve. You're blocking the fucking dude. Holy fuck, Stevie. I want you to watch tonight's episode and realize this is not how you produce. You got that? Okay, we got another <laughs> year, though, to improve on ourselves, right? So I'll, I'll take this. I like this. your positivity. Yes. Give yourself two points for okay, that. Okay, I'll take that. I think I can get right now, so. All right. I, I, he's, we're not getting much We're not getting him, anything but, yeah, from John here. It's very interesting, I'm though. still confused as to back. why someone who doesn't speak the Queen's English put on the subtitles showed up to a talk show. Hello. Hello. All right, let's not give his buddy, because his buddy is fucking Hello. so liquored up. He took my money, too. It's great. <laughs> Um, that'll do it. That'll do it. Thank you. What an epic show it was tonight. I feel like I've played eight fucking basketball games in a row. Tough one, you huh? guys made me fucking work tonight. Much harder than I had to. Next week, you know? everyone gonna bring in their own sketch. Talent show. Eastside Dave Show 2.0. You're bringing in a sketch. You're bringing in a sketch. Yes. You're bringing in a sketch. I want to sit back and fucking relax. Fruit All right. snacks. It's a one year of Fruit compound snacks. media in the Eastside Dave show, by the way, tonight. Yeah. Someone pointed out to me just a second ago. I wore the same outfit I so wore yeah. as our first episode. <laughs> yeah. So you have that going for you. Yes, we've re-signed. So how about that for a round of applause? Yeah. We're and all I'm very excited paid. to be back. We love it here at Compound Media. Uh, myself, I have no big, bigger supporter than Anthony Cumia. He's always been in my corner. Ronnie B in my corner. A lot of people have been. So uh, I'm very excited and thankful and, and filled with gratitude. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fantastic 2017. As long as it's not like tonight's episode. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what we do here? We make. Uh, 
We have fun. Shit aid we out make of shit lemonade. is what we do. That's oh. what we do. We, we make lemon. shit aid out of shit. The new okay. show, show logo. We got a little fucking racist puppet who shows up. A robot who I can't tame. I'm thinking very seriously. Oh, you have no idea, too, by the way. I have to sign some papers pretty soon. And when I sign those papers, Divorce no papers. holds barred. Divorce papers. Oh, new year, new you, Dave. Yes. Divorce, divorce, I'm happy for you, Dave. And then the Irish Cobra is here to stay. He will stop being a character, <laughs> and the Irish Cobra will take over. Stevie, want you to work on security. Okay. No Midnight Rider next Tuesday. I'm being dead serious. I do not want him on the show. Got At my all. word. Got my word, Dave. And this is not like I'm setting up some sort of bit. I'm not. I don't want him on the show. Thank you. Not on. It's my arch nemesis. Roy, it's great having you here. Thanks, Dave. It took a lot. Um, Roy, at this point, makes more money than the host of the Eastside Dave show, whose name is Eastside Dave McDonald. Part of the contract negotiation was apparently a bump up for Roy. And then Roy goes to me, Davey Mac, you're going to stay at status quo. Just like me and Flutzy, though. Yeah. Well, you guys are getting paid jack and shit. But one day, you, still owe you me will money. get paid. One day. Yeah. One day. One day. Still only for parking that time. I'll get you. How much uh, do I owe you? <laughs> 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 the fucking guy behind Stevie, uh, White Oscar Gamble, is, is holding up $3. Give that to Stevie. Stevie, take that off my tab. Oh, okay. Flutie, sing the song with me. I'm singing it. And then really think about that date invitation. The date? Okay? Look, I don't judge. I know you sucked five dicks over the weekend. That's not a big deal for uh, me. Like, that ain't no deal breaker, bro. <laughs> Must you make me out to be a whore, Dave? Yes. Uh, why? Why, Papi? It's why? fun. It's fun. And you are. <laughs> Stevie, I'm going to stick a pen in your fucking eyeball. Just ready, saying. Roy Hart? I'm always ready, baby. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad news. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. From Long Island to West LA. No need to worry, cause I ain't in no hurry. Damn, it's been a real fine day. There's a whole lot of trouble out in this world. Yeah, a whole lot of worry, whole lot of worry. Now that I had you come into my life, there's a whole lot of reasons to say. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. <laughs> ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad news. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. Yeah! See you next Tuesday! Oh,